We're getting the pumpkin ready, y'all, for not a pumpkin pie. I know what y'all were thinking. Y'all were thinking pumpkin pie was coming, but it's not. It's pumpkin cupcakes. Sissy's entry into the baking contest at the fair tomorrow. Give me, give me. Instead of using canned pumpkin in her recipe, she wants to use real pumpkin. So we're gonna bake this first. Well, she's gonna bake it. We just helped her cut it and get the seeds out. Pumpkin cupcakes with a brown butter cream cheese frosting. These are gonna be great. She's been searching and searching for what she wanted to make. So she's just putting some olive oil on the pan and then we're gonna bake the pumpkin just like we baked the butternut squash the other day. What's happening right now is he's going into either jet mode, cheetah mode, or he's got one more mode, it's called helicopter. helicopter mode, okay. He's watching a lot of Transformers these days. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So that's what we see it happening right before our eyes. Now what happened the other jet day, mode. he's in jet mode. What happened the other day was y'all, Fallon brought this thing on with me playing Transformers 2 with him. And I don't know what mode I was in, but. <laughs> hot pepper mode. Hot pepper I mode. I think. <laughs> Y'all yeah. got the start of that deal right there and you didn't know what was going on. Every now and then he I, was worried y'all thought he was really turning into a transformer right. and he wanted to make it clear to y'all that he is not Optimus I'm not Prime. I'm not in a jet mode or anything. Y'all seen me with the broom in my hand going around <laughs> like a I wasn't thinking I was really flying or anything like that. I mean, I don't jump off these steps and play like I can fly like he does. <laughs> so you're here just in time to help with supper. I'm here. He's got him some coffee. He just made a cot of caught a coffee. I just made a cot of coffee. <laughs> he just made a pot of coffee. Sure does smell good. And he said that he will help me cook supper and I have just the thing for you to do. Remove that chicken. <laughs> We're making a rotisserie chicken and veggie, kind of like a chicken pot pie, but not, instead of like a pie crust topping, it's gonna be a drop biscuit topping. Here's yeah, we're top. trying to use up all our veggies. We had lots of vegetables. That garden out there <laughs> produced <laughs> enough for us to can for two years. And I'll tell you what, people are like, what happened? It's from, there's some of it. I don't know. It's some all of it, in who you know. The okra you is from me? the garden, but um, some of the other stuff is just stuff that we bought and it needs to be used up or, you know, frozen or something. We're going to put it in a chicken pot biscuit pie. I've already washed my hands, everybody. Y'all know I shoe horses, uh, but I'm wow. clean. I'm getting some garlic ready over here and an onion. Now, I may have used up all my carrots. If I did, that's fine. I think I might try to put some beets in this. I know that it's going to change the color of the situation. Are y'all okay with that? You don't have to put the beets if you don't want to, but we actually like beets. We was trying to hide it for a long time and not tell anybody, but now we don't care. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a lot of okra. put it all in there, because I love okra. Lord knows I love okra. He made me love okra. Did you see the beets that are growing out there? I the sure garden? did. Is that good? That's really good. Some people, like myself, will just make do with whatever I've got to keep from having to go to the store. Other people, like Daddy, <laughs> he will find a reason to go to that store, won't he, Jonah? Yes. some of these right here. These little bitty potatoes. I think we'll roll back over to the cookie aisle. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some of them pinwheel kind, but I don't think they got them. We'll get some more of these right here, we think. still waiting on them to get back. I already have everything chopped up that I needed to chop. I'm just, I'm pretty much waiting on the carrots. So while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and make the biscuit topping. They're gonna be kind of like the Cheddar Bay biscuits, the cheddar and garlic ones, you know, but they're gonna be 
It's mozzarella. Let's, what should we call them? Mozzarella Bay? <laughs> They're gonna be mozzarella cheese biscuits. Not a lot of mozzarella, just a little. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic powder in them. We sent both the shoppers to the store, didn't we, Jonah? We might have should have switched this thing. Me and Jonah should have went to the store. They should have stayed here. Some kind of what? Cookies. Oh yeah, Jonah thinks they brought back some kind of cookies. We'll see. Jonah, they did. He oh, said they're definitely yeah. coming back with cookies. Yeah, we got two. And Chips Deluxe in there. Oh, there are the carrots. I was fixing to say, did you even get the carrots? <laughs> Back to the biscuits. I've got the carrots in there with the onions now. We're putting in a little bit of garlic powder and some parsley flakes. No. You smell something? Yeah. What do you smell? Chicken nugget fries. Chicken nugget fries. <laughs> now we add the milk. We're gonna start with about a cup of milk and half a cup of heavy cream. Okay, that's about how we want this dough. You want it to be a little wetter than you normally would have biscuit dough. We're gonna put in just a little bit of shredded yeah. mozzarella. I'm just gonna put it about half a cup. All right, so now when the vegetable and chicken mixture is done, we've already got this ready to go. definitely gonna look fall colored. All right, everybody, now I'm telling you, I know a lot of y'all right now. <laughs> you are upset about these beets. We're gonna put one cup of heavy cream and we might have to have some more chicken broth, we'll see. This is gonna be delicious, everyone. Now, if you cold and indifference with us on this right here. Just leave the beets out. Just leave the beets out. Some's going down straight roads, some's going down crooked roads, some's sorry, going like, down bumpy roads. The deeper we're getting into this, the more we're all gonna be like, it's pink. What, what do we got here? Close your eyes, we're gonna have to close our eyes. But y'all, we love beets. Yeah, we held it's, it not, back. it's not gonna taste bad, it's just We gonna held it back for years. Uh, we, we didn't want to bring it to anybody's attention. Every time I would say, Fallon, let's put some beets on the plate, she'd be like, no, no. People got mad at us <laughs> because we showed beets in our life. <laughs> and I'm like, well, baby, that don't make a lick of sense to me that we would not show our love for beets. True colors. True colors. <laughs> now, this might surprise y'all, but this is actually going to turn red. Daddy, what have we done? Baby, we've done something delicious, but people ain't gonna believe it. Cause people ain't gonna try this right here. Please stay tuned. After these messages, we will bring to you something delicious. We have a little bit We're gonna of, put in some salt and pepper. You ain't gonna be able to see it. Put a little salt and stir it up. Uh, thyme, a little bit of thyme. This is all to taste, everybody. Yeah, just do this to taste. Cause we've done this time after time. <laughs> And we can tell you <laughs> that this We is have all. made the chicken pot pie mixture time after time. We've, we've never added beets before. Here comes uh, the chicken. It turned pink. Y'all. This is seriously gonna have to be one of those that you can just close your eyes. Mom, I want to close my eyes. I will promise you I'll smile big to eat this right now. This is healthy. I'll taste it just to see what we got. Y'all, we just try our best to keep it real. It's not usual. We should have put the beets on the side. Tastes delicious. People ain't gonna believe us, mama. They ain't gonna believe us. I'm just telling you. You know what you could do? Put this in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you gotta do, baby. That way everybody can stay relaxed. If we're getting toward the holiday season anyway, anxiety starts setting in, we don't wanna put people over the top here. The weather's changing. Some people ain't wanting it to change, they fighting that, you know, and then they fighting the fact that their body needs beets and they ain't wanting to accept that. And if we try to bring that to them right here, it might actually cause confusion in their life. That's really, we just, we just gonna put this in black and white.
We're out here now looking for that worm that was on here yesterday, y'all. Look, he ate all that and disappeared. There was some things called wax pepper. Hungarian hot wax pepper gel. That we have done well with. Mm -hmm. Those right there, I mean, that thing is really did really good. The peppers are just now getting Okra's it. doing good too. Okra oh, did really good. We can good. grow okra and Hungarian wax. Mint. We can grow basil. a pumpkin. Looking like we're going to... A, a pumpkin. pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a bunch of uh, bell peppers. Basil? Yes. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it, Bubba. What else can I say? Take us all day to go over this whole garden. I'm going to oh. stop right there. Our okra plants have done really, really good. We'll yeah. definitely plant this again next year. More than likely, I'll end up planting a whole row of that. What that means is we'll go the whole 12 foot. <laughs> Okay, y'all, the time is now 10.43. Having a little snack, kale salad snack that was left over from supper last night, which was amazing. Okay, that chicken parmesan last night, y'all. If you missed that video, definitely go check that one out and definitely make that. The uh, beet chicken pot pie thing from tonight, it was good, but that color. The color of it is gonna throw you off. Yes. We gonna say just don't put beets. Just don't put the beets. Just don't put chicken pot pie. Don't go with chicken pot pie. And I mean, like we said, we knew whenever I was doing it, I was like, you know, this is probably going to turn everything red or purple, you know, because beets do that. They turn your hands, per you know, they do that. I didn't realize how that was going to affect no your... Way. It didn't affect the taste. No, the if you close your eyes, it's wonderful. <laughs> And everybody ate it. Tyler ate two helpings of it. Jonah ate all of his. Sissy had a little bit of a hard time with the color of it. And Jake ate all of his, except he just skipped around the beets because he didn't like beets. He didn't eat those. But he ate all the rest of it. And the biscuits on top the, with the cheese. Did you even notice I did the garlic cheese biscuits on top? Delicious. I mean, you That was want, great. I mean, all of it tasted amazing. You just need to be sleepy to eat it. Just leave the beets out and it'll be great, y'all. We knew it was gonna do that. I just didn't really think about it until I saw all that purpleness in the pan. And I was like, okay, this might be a little too weird to eat purple chicken pot pie. Yeah. <laughs> now when it cooked, you saw you couldn't really tell of the purpleness that much anymore, but it was still just weird. It was just a little too weird. Put the beets on the side. If you want the beets, put them on the side or just leave them out. Kids already watched their movie for tonight, so they've gone to bed. We gotta get up kind of early. Titus has some work to go do first thing, and then we're going to the fair.